They don't like dust. It's what, what, what is it? Dustophobic? It's dustophobic. It don't mess with dust. Dustophobia. When you hear squeak on dusty courts, that's where you know it's oh, peak. Oh, it's, it's, it's peak. It's peak. It's peak. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And in today's video, we are taking a look at the Under Armour Curry 7s. Let's get it. Firstly, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball. If you would like your pair of the Curry 7s or anything basketball related, head over to the description box below. Click the link to their website where they will indeed take care of your basketball needs. But of course, before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Liking this video helps us out massively, so make Please. sure you tap that button. Comment down below your thoughts on the Curry 7. Of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Do all those things and show some love to the Pure Kicks man there. Stephen Curry. From a three-star recruit yep. to a three-time NBA world champion. Raw. He is the GOAT shooter. Glow up is real. He is the only player in NBA history to win a unanimous MVP. That's still a mad sentence. Unanimous MVP. Wow. Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, none of those greats have ever done it apart from great Stephen greats. Curry. Stephen Curry. And what's even crazier, even though he is out this season, the dude is still building on his legacy. Still. But today we're not talking about the man. Mate, all good enough. We're talking about the shoes. The shoes he wears every time he hits a three. Every time he builds to his legacy. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. That fucking banged, man. Shake that my hand. fucking litty committee. I'm changing my name to Steph. <sighs> If motherfuckers intro motherfuckers called Steph like that, <laughs> my name is Stephen Curry in there. That's my name in it. Starting things off with our favourite part of the shoe, the traction. Here at Pure Kicks, we're calling this the eye of the zigzag traction pad. Come on. Okay, because it, it has an eye in the middle and it's got zig. Too many questions. Anyway, moving on. How did this traction perform? It banged. It, nah, it's an understatement. It, it was perfect. Understatement. I mean, we hoop on some of the dustiest courts, I believe, in the country. Yep. And the traction pattern held up. It's wild how well it held up. Where other tractions who we've given amazing scores have failed, yep. this shoe has succeeded with flying colours. Rotted. It is crazy. I mean, the bite. It's the, insane. The, the lack of dust collection. Fam, that's a science that Under Armour need to release to the world because you're moving mad. You've clocked compound. It must be, innit? You've clocked it. I don't it know what you're compound. making your rubbers out of, but they don't like dust. It's what, what was it? It's dustophobic? It's dustophobic. It don't mess with dust. Dustophobia. When you hear squeak on dusty courts, that's where you know it's oh, peak. It's, it's, it's peak. It's peak. Do you know what I'm saying? And we have a split outsole design, so there's flexibility with the outsole as well. Solid rubber outsole, you're good outdoors. Let's move on because the traction is a 10 out of 10. This is a traction that only Stephen Curry has to have. Yeah. And you need traction like this to do what Steph does. 10 out of 10 traction. Next up, talking about the materials. Now the Curry 7 is basically made up of pretty much mesh throughout. Yep. With some TPU skins. Yep. And some synthetic overlays which also includes leather as well. Yeah. So there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. There's a few on. different materials and it all kind of layered one on top of each other in yeah. different types of ways. But I liked it. I really liked it. I really it. liked it. It's very structured. In the best possible way. Yeah, it definitely adds the support of the shoe, which we'll touch on later in the yes, interview, of course. I mean, the great thing about these materials is that although they do require a little bit of breaking time, yeah, just nothing bit. crazy. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm with it they are still very comfortable. Yes. They add to support. I mean, I wouldn't say it's on the heavy side. No, I wouldn't. But it's, it's, it's in between. It's not heavy or light. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. perfect. It's, it's this, right. Yeah, it's, it's just right. And then with those layers as well, you'd think that there would be some ventilation problems. Of course you would. But what Under Armour have done, they've given us some ventilation holes on the medial side. Indeed. For ventilation. 
So everything, every box is ticked pretty much. Very, very well. Everything you need. Very, very well. What I guess you need? The only gripe, like we mentioned, is going to be that breaking time. Yeah. Ever so slightly. The, the materials are definitely light, but they're not. They're, they're still light. They're still a little heavy at the same time. Yeah. Because it's with of the other shoes that we've been able to try out over time. We can't help but sometimes compare them on what's out there. But I mean, if we just if we stop talking, it's an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten. That's a strong score. It's a good score. It's a very strong eight. Maybe one of the strongest eights on this channel. There I you don't go. know. But it gets the job done it's and then good some. material. Next up, talking about the cushioning. Now, for the first time ever, we are seeing a dual foam setup in the Curry signature line. Now, what we have here is what I believe are on Drama's two best phones. Yep. We have a Hover and Micro G. And it definitely got the job done. It did damn well supposed to. I mean, both those cushioning systems have known to do a madness in their own respective shoes. And for on to combine them and bring him in this shoe, it bangs. Like it, it good. feels really nice. It was good. It's there. It's there. It's there in impact protection. Yes. It's there in court feel. It is. Even though there's two cushionings inside it, sometimes you don't quite get that, that court feel, but you do. Yeah. It's there in responsiveness, yep. which I think really comes from the micro G of it, because it's super, super responsive. And it, these things have to be the case when we're talking yeah. curry. This is how he plays. He's quick on his feet. He's it's quite on his toes type of yeah. player. And so you're getting everything you need when we're talking 100%. this. But then the hover really adds that comfort side of things. Yeah. It really takes care when we're talking comfort. So it's a nice mix going on. 100%. I guess for me, being petty as I am, there's a little bit of weight that comes with it. Yeah. And I don't really know why. I think it comes from the stability play in the midsole. It's in there. We'll touch more on that when we talk about support. Yeah. But it adds stability, you know, in the name. Um, so I think that definitely adds to the weight a little bit. Because you but, feel it. You feel it. When you're holding it, yeah. you know the weight is coming from somewhere and it's going to be the cushioning area for some exactly. reason. But Timmy is being petty. So it's just, you know, ah. Ah, well, yeah, do you I'm feel it when you're hooping? I'm being no, paid. No, you don't. So therefore, we still have to come to a score, and the score we're going to come to is an 8 out of 10. Yeah? Because I'm being paid. What? Fair enough. Next up, we're talking about the fit. Now, off the bat, it's a great fitting shoe. It is. It's regular, it's true to size, had no problems on that. No. What I did really like is how the lacing system is attached to all those lovely materials we mentioned earlier. Yeah. They're layered really well, and the lacing system kind of adds to that, but it takes away at the same time. Yeah. If it gives us, it takes us away. Yeah. The laces being attached to all of the layers means the shoe doesn't really conform as well mm. as we'd like it to, I or have that. experience in past shoes whenever we see a lacing system attached yeah. to other things. We can't help but compare, and we can't, we, we can't help it. Yeah, we're only human. I mean, we'll get to comparisons in due time, yeah. but we've felt some incredible stuff when we're talking laces attached to different parts of the shoes, but in the Curry 7s, the synthetics and the TPUs and the laces mean it just kind of, in a stiff way, yeah. hugs the foot. It, it, but it does hug the foot. Yeah, it does. Which is good. And with breaking time comes more give and more leeway. Yes. You know? Yeah. So. Which is taking some time. We're, we're nitpicking right now. We're being paid. We're being paid. Shout out to being paid. Yeah. Let him know about the, the, the sock situation as well. I should let him well. know. Let him know about the sock situation. I should let him know. Now, for me, I've actually never played in a pair of Under Armour socks. I never got around to it. But of course, the plug over at Pro Direct okay, your boys, they said, look, Take care of us. Are you, man? Curry 7's are on the way in that. We hear that. Cool. But hold the socks too, yep. because we hear good things. I said, all right, cool. Man, we'll do the socks for you. Know? Man, yeah. we'll do that. I'm we didn't think nothing of, of, of it too tough. Okay, fine. I mean? We're like, all right, cool, whatever. Socks, socks are socks. Socks are socks. Socks are socks. Yeah? So obviously, I put the socks on. Yeah. And then I put the shoe on, because that's obviously how you do it. That's the order. Yeah. Normally, I've, I've read about it one yeah. time. And it felt fantastic. Yeah. It felt amazing. They were fresh socks, obviously, is a plus, which is good, whatever. However, the second time I tried them out, I didn't have the Under Armour socks. Some plain things. Just some plain white socks. Yeah. And the fit felt different. It didn't bang the way it's supposed to. Yeah. So really, we're basing this on having an Under Armour pair of socks. And I yeah. will say that we haven't mentioned this too many times on the channel. Brands are obviously going to design shoes or design socks to get the most out of their shoes. Yeah. And that's exactly what brands are going to be doing, including Under Armour. Yeah. So if you can, and you're messing with the Curry 7s, have a look, see at the socks as well and cut them all together because you're going to get an amazing experience yes. if you get your socks with your crepe. And that's not to say you have to buy a new pair of socks every time you buy a pair of shoes. 
Just get your brands by socks. I'm just saying. I'm putting it out there, isn't it? Because yeah. it does make a difference. It's only giving this thing a slow though. It's eight out of ten. Strongest of eights. Strongest of eights. Way above average. Eight out of ten. Let's move on. Lastly, talking about support. Now, what I'd like to mention is that we believe the Curry signature line is supposed to be one with an ankle brace. Yes. Mr. Wardell Stephen Curry has gone through a few ankle injuries. Few. And his shoes are designed to be worn with an Fancy. ankle brace. Few. So like obviously, like you himself. know, consider that. Yeah. We're talking about support. He said a few about me. I know, but his ankles Definitely are. Fewer. His ankle. I feel it's sad a, ankles. It's man. sad his ankles. ankles are sorry, bro. His, his ankles are depressed, bro. Oh man. But it's calm. Three-time NBA champion. It's calm. Best I'll shoe in that. the world. Take that. Post ankle surgery. Come on. What are we saying? Support though. Sorry, support. <laughs> <laughs> Bearing that in mind, the support still bangs, even if you don't wear an ankle brace. Yep, which is surprising. The support comes from the internal TPU heel counter. We have the overall fit of the shoe, which we touched on earlier. We also have the lateral support, which comes from the outrigger shape of the shoe and mm. the raised midsole, which acts as a barrier for your foot as I well. Like it. And like we it have lot. the midsole plate for stability. Yeah, it's cold. This is very cold. It's this a lot. is very good support. With even without wearing an ankle brace, even though the, the shoe is designed to be worn with an ankle brace, with how you know the, the way it's, it's low. cut so low, it's real low. The support is really, really nice. I love it. You are locked in. You okay? are. You are locked in. There's some padding, obviously, as well in the in the Achilles as well. So everything feels really, really good. And for a low top shoe yep. that is supposed to be worn with an ankle brace to have support this good, it's an eight out of ten. Facts. It's an eight out of ten. I love it. I had no worries whatsoever hooping in the shoe. This is another one of those shoes you lace up, you hoop, and you just live life and you have a good time. That's it. I was definitely skeptical. It's a low cut shoe. It's a Steph Curry shoe. Ankle coverage is going to be missing, which it is. Yeah. But support everywhere else. Maybe not worry about the ankle coverage. And that is a big thing. Because yeah. you know me, I love, I love my high top prep. Yeah. Love my high top prep. But... I was living life in these. He was living life. I was living life in these. Timmy was living life, okay? I was a witness. The amount of step backs this dude hit in this shoe, I don't think I've seen that. You know what, let's just, let's just leave it at that. Eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. So taking everything into consideration, the Under Armour Curry 7 scores an 8.4 out of 10. Right, let's get started. The traction, 10 out of 10, quit playing. The eye of the zigzag. <laughs> hmm. Wherever you want it, just go hoop. Do some, do some, do some curry stuff. Yeah. Do some curry stuff. Okay. Cool. Indoor, outdoor. Cool, 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 In cool. Space cool, doesn't cool, matter. Cool, 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 cool. Fit, cushion, materials, and support. All eights. All eights. Way above average, because they're all smacking things up. Yeah. Cool. Your seventh shoe. 8.4. Under Armour and Steph Curry are doing crazy things in that lab. I share the compound secret. Yeah, man. Quit playing. Yeah. Do it for the culture, yeah? Because every crep needs to understand how to make rubber outsoles dust phobic. That's for the culture, Under Armour. You can call it what you want, but share the thing. Because you're moving mad. This is for the culture, all right? Do it for the culture. 8.4 out of 10. Madness. Madness. That is everything from us. Massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball again. Check out our description box below. There's a link to their website That's where you can it. cop these. It's there. You can also cop the socks. You can cop Under Armour short. Just click the link it's and they'll there. take care of you. Also what's down there is the like, comment and subscribe buttons. Like this video, show your support to boys. Comment down below what you think of the Curry 7s. Subscribe, hit that bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. You're gonna wanna see the comparisons on these because it's about to be a madness. Yeah. It's about to be a madness. It is about to be a madness. You're gonna wanna see the comparisons. It's upsetting me really. Head true. to head is going crazy over here. All right, quick play. Look, you've seen all the videos below this one, yeah? All getting compared, say no more. 
hit that bell. Hit the subscribe button and the bell, yeah? Safe. So, right, guys, there you have it. This is the Under Armour Curry 7. Wear pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.